Hi all, yeah, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I did go, go out shopping yesterday with my daughters. Um, I went to Dollar Tree and Joann's and I also got an order from the 12 by 12 card stock shop. Um, Dollar Tree, I bought one of these. I actually wanted it for the shape of it. I already have one of these on a wreath, but I'm thinking of painting the back and making it like a watermelon slice and using it on my watermelon wreath. That's the plan. We'll see. I'm not the world's best painter, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, Joanne, it was funny, I was there a few weeks ago looking for more of the Totally Tiffany stuff that they had put on clearance and I couldn't find anything in the store. I thought they had just sent it back because there was no way they could have sold it all. Yesterday, they had a whole bunch of it back. So I bought another, I think this is the Shelly bag, yeah, Shelly. And I bought another Deborah bag. <laughs> there were two more, there were only two more left of the Deborah bags. And there weren't any of the other ones. Yeah, my, my youngest daughter picked up those two. So um, they did have the scrap rack marked down even more. I think it was marked down to. Forty nine ninety seven, and I actually had an extra twenty percent yesterday. I said if I needed another scrap rack, I would have bought one for that price, especially with the extra twenty. And then I bought this sixteen page value pack. I bought two of those. They had them marked down to seven forty seven. I think it's about sixty percent off. It comes with four of each style bag of. Uh, each of these four, the super single, the, what do they call that one? The Fab Four, the Traders 12, and the Vertical Bubble. I knew I needed more of the doubles, and I'll eventually probably need the other ones too. I do want to go through my scrap rack again, and now that I've got a few more pages bought, there's still a few other, uh, there's some other configurations that I'd like to get and try to replace some of my non-scrap wrap pages that are in there. And then I found this fabric. It was on sale. It was 40% off. And then, of course, I had the extra 20. I'm going to use it to cover my bench. It will probably won't be till after the 4th of July, because right now it's kind of decorated out for patriotic holidays. But I'll probably switch to my summer theme after the 4th. So... That I bought that for that purpose. And then from the 12 by 12 cardstock shop, I bought the Basil swatch books. This one has the mono and bling colors in it. And you get a sample of each color, and on the back it tells you what the color is and what line it comes from. It also gives you numbers for the... 8 and a half by 11 and uh, 12 by 12 and if it comes in any other formats. And then I bought this swatch book also which is the fours and dotted Swiss. I think I'm going to take these apart and reassemble them. Combine them all together. Because right now they're really, I think they must be in order by the stock number, which for me doesn't really make any sense. Um, I'm thinking since this is the brand of paper that I'm using, I'm going to put them, I'm going to divide them up by color family first and then probably alphabetically from there because that's how I file them on in, in my um, paper storage back here. With the AC cardstock one, which I had gotten a while back, I put them in alphabetical order. I took it apart and put it in alphabetical order. Because I don't actually have any of this brand of cardstock. But the Dreaming Tree Projects, this is the brand that he uses. So he'll give you the color name. So I figured that way I can look up the color name and see what I have close to it if I kind of want to stick with his colors. Which I usually do the first time I make a project. Sometimes the second time I switch it. I have a few times switched it up the first time, but normally the first time I try to do it the way they say to, just so I kind of get a feel for the project. 
So that's why I bought the American cardstock one, American crafts one, because that way I could look up what the colors, what color combos he used. And even if you switch colors, it kind of gives you an ideal for the different levels of colors if he sticks within the color family to use. So I know I'm going to rearrange these. I just haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do it. So I was hoping it would help me identify a few of the colors that I got at um, Tuesday morning in a bundle. But I went through them and I can't find, I still can't find those ones. So I'm thinking they're discontinued colors. And that's why I can't, which means I can't buy, rebuy them anyway. So the color name doesn't really matter that much. I'll just, when I use them, they're done. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I've got to share today. I'm hoping to get into my craft room today. It's really early right now. It's um, only a little after six <laughs> in the morning. I just couldn't sleep anymore this morning, so I just went ahead and got up. I'm hoping to come in and get some things cut out with my Cricut. I have some access codes, so I think I'm going to use one of those and try to get some summer projects all cut out and I'll worry about assembly later because if I have them cut out it doesn't matter if the I, I always try to when I use an access code use cut as many things out as possible while the code's good because <laughs> I think it lasts for 72 hours so I try to do as much cutting during that time as I can of the projects that qualify under that and I know I also have some Dreaming Tree projects I want to cut out for summer, but those ones aren't as bad because I, I own those, so I can cut those whenever I want. Anyways, that's all I've got to share today. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.